Hello, my name is Petey Nice. I'm here to give you your WWE SmackDown spoilers for the 13th of September. September 13th. Lillian comes out to sing O Canada. Cole comes out to heat. JBL comes out with a pop. And his name is being chanted. Just like those old good Canadians were doing on Monday Night Raw. Big Show opened SmackDown by apologizing for his behavior on Monday to Triple H. Not doing a simple, a simple job is in quotation marks, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> he has to apologize to the WWE Universe for not doing his job and letting us down. But Triple H comes out to a mixed reaction. I don't like his new character, which means he's doing a good job as a heel. That's just my opinion. Anywho... He explains to show how businesses ran. There are asshole chants and what chants grow in the audience. Only in Canada, people. Remember what Damien said that was they, they and Seamus were doing the ball cup thing. They were chanting, we want balls. Show, uh, show your balls. Only in Canada. <clears throat> Triple H just spends Big Show without pay for the night. And says Big Show is broke, so it's a big deal. The shield interrupts. And Big Show fights all and more for a few minutes before Roman Reigns hits him with a chair. And they triple power by him to close the segment. It was a really fun segment, and the crowd was hot. Michael Cole will interview Curtis Axel and pull him in later tonight. Well, Friday night. Alicia Fox, Layla, and Oksana versus Naomi, uh, Brie Bella, and Natalia in a rematch from Monday Night Raw. He's up next. Natalia gets a great pop because she's Canadian. I don't know why I'm saying that like that, but, you know. Anyway, but AJ comes out to my little AJ for my family wrestling tree. Comes out to a bigger pop. Yeah, Diva Champion. <clears throat> and does commentary. AJ does a run in as Natalia goes for the sharpshooter. Now, I think that the websites or the WWE screwed up because... I would think that Natalia's team would have got the DQ win, but they gave it to the other team. I don't know about that, but, you know. Team Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler is announced for later tonight. Now, Vicky Guerrero does a backstage cut, but the heat from the crowd was so loud, you couldn't even hear what she was saying. So, tune in to SmackDown for that one. I can't, I can't even begin to start. So, now we have a dance competition. R-Truth and Fandango. The Miz comes out wearing a big afro. He calls himself... Misco Inferno. Okay. He's in, it's not a dance competition without the most must-see superstar of all time. Now the great Khali comes out to join the competition. Now Miz does his own twerk with our true with the gauge you came on. Everyone dances with Kali except it for for uh, oh everyone dancing with the great Kali except for Fedango and Summer Ray. Miz gets the biggest pop and wins the competition. Why are we even doing this? <clears throat> all right, forget that. Fandango says they're all disgraces dancing and gets knocked out of the ring. Now they reshot the Divas Brawl after I forgot to say there was a Divas Brawl, but I, I purposely forgot to say that because they had to refilm it with Naomi, Natalia, and Brie beating down on AJ. Vicky Guerrero is backstage, and now a vast virus database has been updated. Excuse that. Vicky Guerrero is backstage. She says, Raquel Rodriguez will not join RVD at ringside at Night of Champions for his own safety. But she sets up Ricardo Rodriguez versus Alberto Del Rio for later tonight. Santino Morello returns to SmackDown, finally, and defeats Damian Sandow with the Cobra in about two minutes. Before the match, Sandow cut a promo saying he would free us from our ingramus, etc., I don't know, he's going for a little jobbing streak, but, you know, with money in the bank, he's almost guaranteed to be the future world champion. Okay, so it's time for the interview with Michael Cole. Uh, and Michael Cole is now going back to interview Paul Heyman and Curtis Axel. We get a great video package of the Heyman Punk issues. Now, one thing I don't like about this match is it's not for the Intercontinental title. That's just my personal opinion. So, guys, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, so, Axel says Punk won't get Heyman 
because Punk can't beat Axel. Heyman says he's not a man of war and an advocate of peace instead. Calls for the public boycott of a handicap match. Says to buy nine champions, we're going to see CM Punk get his hands on Paul Heyman like we don't want to. I'm not, I'm not that serious, by the way. I want to see my uh, Punk get his hands on Heyman. I will be watching Night of Champions this Sunday. Uh, what did I leave off? Punk will find a way to get around Axel and get to him. See Punk chant start from the crowd. If you buy Night of Champions, we're going to see Punk give Heyman a beating. Yes, chant start. And see Punk chant. And these are all Heyman, what Heyman saying. Punk will slaughter him. I can't believe this is the last time we'll see Paul Heyman. You can't believe this is the last time we'll see Paul Heyman. He will always love CM Punk. Heyman now leaves with the hands going, na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Great, and it's a great job for selling the pay per view. Alberto Del Rio versus Ricardo Rodriguez is next. No reaction for Del Rio, but a nice pop for Ricardo and RVD. Probably just because of RVD. <coughs> The Rio wins with a top rope reverse suplex, and after the match, applies the cross arm breaker, but RVD makes the save and frog splashes the Rio and celebrates with the heavyweight title. Will that be the fact Sunday? You must tune into my Night of Champions prediction card that will be airing right after SmackDown. I will film it, and it should be up by 11 o'clock, probably. Anyway. Dean Ambrose uses Dol Ziggler's next. I don't know why we're not saying this for pay per view, but I'll explain that. I guess I don't know where the United States title match is going to be on pay per view. Good pop for both of them. It's a good match, but they were holding back, it seems. The Shield ran in and caused disqualification, but the Usos made the save. That sets up a six man tag. Shield beats the Usos and Dol Ziggler at the South Rollins got a knee splash uh, from one of the Usos. Amazing finish sequence. Good match. The crowd was into it. And speaking of Canada. It's time to close up SmackDown with the cutting edge. Edge gets a huge pop. Thank you, Edge Chant. Biggest pop of the night. Well, it's a one-time deal in Canada. So I agree with Triple H, but... I mean, Edge is welcome to home anywhere, but, you know... Canada is going to get the biggest pop. That's all I got to say. Uh, edge tells Christian to tear the shield apart when he gets back. Orton comes out to some heat. Brian comes out with a lot of yes chants, though. Edge asks Orton how it feels to sell out. Orton says Edge is jealous because Orton's a oh, 10 time champion and Edge is just a talk show host. Edge says Orton forgot he's an 11 time. Right? 11 time champion. He knows what's best for business and the fans erupt with yes chance. Brian says his dream was never to face the corporation. Who would want to do that? What Steve Austin went through. But anyway, but to hold the WWE title. He said he'll beat Orton and the United Champions. Orton cheap shots Ryan and the fans chant Spear, but Edge cannot Spear. I mean, I love him to do it, but, you know, he can't. Brian gets the upper hand on Edge, Edge uh, on Orton, and Edge leaves. Brian makes Orton tap out. The fans erupt, you tapped out. Orton leaves, and Brian stands tall with the fans chanting yes to close the show. That's your SmackDown spoilers. How to get the United of Champions. For the 13th of September, 2013, on PD Nice, stay nice for disability rights.